Welcome to my Sitecore Diaries, your ultimate guide to digital experience excellence, your go-to channel for all the things in Sitecore and .NET. This is the video from the series Headless Website Walkthrough. We are going to continue with our component design uh, video. Last time we have developed the banner component and now we are going to uh, develop the CTA list. I am your host Jitendra Ghanekar. I am in Sitecore Technology MVP 2024. I, ha I have Nikhil with me who is helping us in this, this uh, video series. So he is going to uh, continue, he is going to continue to demonstrate how we can create the uh, headless website in Sitecore JSS. So till now what we have seen is how to set up the headless website then we have seen how to create a react application and then uh, we have started the website design we have, uh, we have developed our first react component in JSS in the last video. I will hand over to uh, Nikhil but before that till now if you are not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe to the channel and click on notification bell to get latest update. And you can see, you can share this video series with your friends and colleagues who are looking for a uh, for a Sitecore headless website design, how we, they can develop the design. So you can share them this uh, video series. Uh, it will definitely help them. So over to Nikhil. So guys, as you can see in the page design, we have three cards in the CTA list component. An individual card have four fields title, description, link and image field. So what we can do here is we can create three card items and then send them in a multi list. Let's move to Sitecore and we'll use this approach. So this is our Sitecore instance. So last time we created hero banner and this time we will create CTA list component. To create it, we'll go to template, feature, we will create new template, card template. So for card, we have data section and in data section, we can put title. description image and list and link so title will be single line description will be rich text image will be image field and link will be general link we'll just save it we will create one more template. We will create as a multi list. In multi list, we will have data section and here we will, will be cards and it will be a multi list. We will go to data in data we will create one folder folder as cards and we'll use this cards folder as a data source to the multi list now we'll go to cards and create items so this will be card 1 This is card one. Description. We'll put some image. We'll put some link as Google, google.com. So this will be card two. For card two, we'll change the content as card two. 
or we can do it later also and then we'll create card 3 so under data cards we have three cards we'll go to home we'll create one multi list item in cards we'll choose all the three cards and now we will create our rendering that is called components in front end we'll create a json rendering and we'll create cta list so this is a cta list so we'll go to resolver we'll choose Mm, data source resolver so we'll go to home page we'll go to presentation details edit add rendering feature cta list jss main and data source as cards so guys we are done from the site core side and we can directly check uh, the layout service of home we'll go and we'll check So under main we have hero banner, we'll just close it, we have CTA list. So in CTA list we have cards and cards have three item. So this is card one which contains four field, title, description, image and list, link. So layout service is coming fine. So I guess we are in good shape. Now the pending part is react part. So we will create the react component similarly what we did in our previous video. So let's move to react. So guys, this is our VS code and in VS code, I have already created the CSS for CTA list. This is my CSS and now we will start building our component using the command jss scaf fold cta list so i am already inside my folder and inside my folder i am running this command jss scaf fold cta list so my cta list component has been created so if i go there you see this is my cta list component for this i have written the code already i'll just move it inside my cta list folder So guys, as you can see, I have using the CTA list and I'm using the CTA list CSS. I have imported image and rest text from Sidecore JSS module and uh, I am using this uh, carts.map. So uh, from the fields, I am using this cards as a props and I'm mapping it to the card and the index. So in the layout service, as you can see, I have fields, then I have cards and individually I have three cards. So same thing I'm doing in the react code. So I am destructuring the cards and I'm mapping them with the index. Index will be zero, one, two, and, and each card have four fields. So each card, have four fields title description image and link the so same thing i'm using inside it so each card has field this is the image field this is the title field then we have a description field card dot field dot description and then we have a link field so as you can see 
I'm using card dot field dot image dot value. So you can see in the layout service. This is the card, and in this card, I have title dot value. Same with image. Image dot value dot source. So what I am doing is cards is an array. In that array, I am mapping it to an index, and each card have four fields, and then I am putting it in. So what I'll do now? I'll just start. Just start connected, and we'll see what happens now. You see, the component is is getting rendered now. So this is card one. This is card two. This is card two. So we'll just fix the content quickly. We'll go to our data cards. This is correct. So this is card two. I'll change the description as this is card two description. I'll change the image also. Choose this lady. For this, I will choose uh, some other link as Facebook, and here I'll use Facebook insert. For third card, I'll choose some other lady. Choose this guy. And I'll put third card. Then I'll put I'll use YouTube. So this is done now. The content is fixed. We'll just check here. So the content is updated. We'll just reload our page. This is card one. This is card two. Card three. Google, Facebook, and YouTube. So you can see this is YouTube.com. This is Facebook. This is Google. So our website is now ready. It has now two component: hero banner and CTA list component. So we'll review our code once again. So it is pretty straightforward and easy code. We are just using this cards dot map with card and index. So this map is taking every object inside of array. So this is an cards. This cards is an array. You can see this is an array, and inside array we have three objects. One, two, three. So we we are just mapping every object of index one, zero, one, and two with cards, and each cards we are mapping with the respective fields. We are first mapping it with the image field, then we are mapping it with a, a title field, then description field, and then finally link field. So it is pretty straightforward. So this is the the JavaScript and and React concept. This map keyword, and we are just destructuring the props that are properties that are coming with this component. We are destructuring the fields, then taking the cards and mapping it with the indexes. Thank you, Nikhil, for this wonderful demo. All right, so we are done for today. Uh, if you like this video if you like this video series then do share this video series with your friends and colleagues till now if you are not subscribed to the channel do consider subscribing to our channel and click on the notification bell to get latest update also i have given my email address my social media handles on the screen let me know if you want to cover any any topic uh, Uh, specific to site core or dot net or any other technology so let let me know we will uh, i will try to include that in uh, in the upcoming videos thank you thanks for watching